There is clear evidence that structures like the hippocampus and the amygdala deep inside the brain beneath the cortex are crucial for the making and retrieval of memories. If there is damage to these and other surrounding structures, memory can be impaired. One famous case of a man, known in the medical literature only by his initials, N.A., has been studied by neuroscientist Larry Squire of the San Diego Veterans Administration Medical Center. In 1960, N.A.'s brain was accidentally pierced by a miniature fencing coil, damaging crucial memory functions. Although he's a cheerful, outgoing man whose memory deficit isn't immediately obvious, it does become clear during tests. Play, cloud, hat, story, lumber. Here, Larry Squire asks N.A. to remember a list of words. Most of us can recall about seven items, but N.A. has difficulty. Island, country. Good, okay. About how many words do you think you just saw? I think about eight. Okay. okay. Could you start at the beginning and tell me as many of the words on the cards that you can remember? Country, gift, recollection or recognition or anything yet okay okay good he's he's uh, does a very good job as well as any of us uh, could do at telling stories and recalling memories from things that happened a long time ago and in his case he can remember things up to pretty close to the time of the accident as well as we think he should be able to it tells us then that since he's using the same kind of retrieval strategies to get at those memories as he would be trying to get at memories that happened only 10 years ago that's what partly suggests to us that there's no problem in, uh, in retrieval per se. The problem more seems to be in, in being able to lay down, to record, to establish in long-term memory, new memories, things that happened since the time of the injury. For N.A., like the rest of us, images, smells, sounds can trigger memories, but for him, they're more likely to be from before his accident. It suggests that the brain structures damaged in cases like his are involved in the processing of information, but are not the actual storage sites of memory.